this a little bit with a hairdryer, not too much because I didn't want it to get anywhere near bone dry. It's still really flexible. Um, so I can sculpt it and I don't have to worry about it cracking, um, but I've dried it just enough so that it has enough strength to kind of hold up or hold steady while I mess with it. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to oval the opening out just a little bit. Just by pressing very lightly on the sides. And I'll just sort of rotate it so you can see what that looks like. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut the opening. So what I'm looking for is a spout that kind of reaches up, sort of dramatically arches up, and then um, an opening that sort of very uh, smoothly sort of flows down and up and into the handle. And you'll see what I mean as we get there. But I'm actually going to use my wire tool, which I didn't have one at home, so I kind of rigged one up. It's two little brass lemons and fishing wire. Um, works well enough. Um, and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of freehand it. So I'm gonna use a really taut wire and I'm just going to sort of determine the width of my spout, which is about there. I'm gonna press straight down. And then from there, I'm just gonna pull it toward myself and out. It's not gonna be perfect, but we're going to fix it. Fine first, uh, first attempt here, and then I'm going to go in with an X-Acto knife, and I'm going to smooth this out. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit narrower too. Take it down a little bit farther. You can sort of see what's starting to happen here. And it's fine to go gradually when you really get a sense of where you're going. What I'm gonna do is actually make a little slit in the back, so directly across from the frontmost point to kind of determine the depth that I want to go to, which is a little bit deeper than I have right now. And then from there, I'm gonna cut sort of up toward the spout. So now I'm actually going to make my spout. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to turn this part toward myself, get my water ready. And then I'm going to hold the sides of the spout steady. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use my finger just to start to pull it out. This is a fairly grainy clay, so you may, you know, I'll see start to see a little bit of surface cracking. It's okay, just get some moisture on there. This is also why I didn't get my top lip too crazy thin. I wanted to retain a little bit 
of excess clay so that I could really get it to pull out a little bit. oval this a little bit more I get a slightly more dramatic kind of lean forward So now before I do any other shaping of the opening or doing any, do any refining, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dart this back part. So what that looks like, go in. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. I'm going to find the line that's directly across the piece from the very, very front to the middle of the spout. So I'm going to just kind of trace a line back. Find that spot. I'm going to try to turn that so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to cut straight down. And I'm sort of looking for the hip of the piece. So this kind of widest point right here, because what I want to do is a kind of emphasize that, um, that shape in the piece. Um, and actually, before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of water and just smooth out the front of this spout, because I am getting a tiny bit of superficial cracking. And I just want to make sure that that doesn't dry like that. So you see this line that I've made. I'm going to cut out wedges on either side of that line. So that's one wedge. Keep that clay. And then a wedge of approximately the same size on the other side. So something like that. I'm actually going to deepen this a little bit because I want my, I want a slightly more dramatic angle. 
bit more out. And then I'm just going to kind of mock it up by pushing those two angles in toward each other and just seeing what it's going to look like. It's not going to be perfect yet because we still have to refine it. Okay. I think I want to take it a little bit deeper actually. So I'm going to open up this hole a little bit more with a slice. Now I'm going to slip and score the interior sides of the hole that I just made. So for that, I'm going to use my pin tool. Take some of this nice slip that I've been saving, which is in my water bucket. Get it on in there. It's going to act as my glue. I'm just smoothing them together. Before I do any real shaping of this, um, I am going to need to let it dry a little bit more. Um, but before I do that, this is still very wet. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to give this bottom part right here just under the join point a little bit more of a curve. And I'm doing that by just kind of pressing out from the inside. So this joint is super wet right now. Um, in order for me to do any more work on it um, and to get this a little bit more of a round opening here, um, I'm going to have to let it dry for a minute or for a few minutes. Right. 
I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then we'll come back to it.